Assemblymember Torres. Permission to read. Without objection. A recent article read, women who are victims of legitimate rape don't usually become pregnant because the female body has ways to shut that whole thing down. Members, as a woman, I can tell you that from the turn of the century, we can go back 100, 200 years, women have been under attack. Attack of the ignorance, attack of our male counterparts that cannot understand Mr. our bodies. Please instruct, please instruct the member to uh, stick to the issues presented in the bill. Uh, we can talk about history at another time, but not on this bill. Ms. Torres, please. The history stick to of them. women's suffrage is very appropriate to this bill. And I take offense at any man who dares to stand up and shut me down. As a woman, I refuse to be Mr. shut Calderon. down. Point of order again, so I would instruct the member to please talk about the issues of the bill and, and the related issues to the bill. The rules apply to everyone in this house. Point well taken. And Madam Speaker, as a woman, I will not be shut down by a male. I am speaking to the content of this bill that has gone more, has gone further than what anyone here has wanted to. Women continue to be oppressed by the ignorance that our bodies can simply get rid of something a male has inserted inside of us that we did not want, forcibly. Don't awe, don't awe at my comments. Really, you're shocked? I am shocked that we're having this discussion on the floor. And as a woman, I am offended Mr. at the discussion on the floor. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And we are, as floor leaders, trying to make the rules apply for all the speakers. This bill is about funding for a pilot program to allow access, as not to do with abortion rights of women. Mr. Hagman, that's not a point of order. So please speak to the merits of the case. Men, I refuse as a woman to be shut down by you or any other man in this assembly. I urge for your I vote.